Hey y'all, the folks here at Pathologic Press are super excited because we just got to mention in the ASRT scanner, we had this article here published recently um, about uh, time distance and shielding, and it's, it's a glowing review, so we're really excited about that. I've got a link to the article down below as well as a link to uh, find, the, find the book if you're interested in reading time distance and shielding. Um, it's on, available on Amazon. So in honor of uh, that book, I want to deal with a problem re relating to distance today. And uh, the question is asking, while standing three feet from an fluoroscopic procedure, the exposure rate is eight milligrays per minute. At what distance would the exposure rate be two milligray per minute? So I'm going to show you the down and dirty way of, of working this out using the inverse square law. And then I'm also going to just show you a very quick way to do the same problem. So if we remember the inverse square law says that intensity um, 1 over intensity 2 equals uh, distance 2 squared over distance 1 squared. So the way that we'll set this up is we're going to put the intensities over on this side. These are expressed in, you know, milligray per minute. That, that's canceled out. That unit's canceled out. All we're interested in is a unit of distance. And I'm going to put uh, 3 squared um, up top over x squared because the x squared is what's related to 2 milligray per minute. So if we uh, kind of cross multiply this, we're going to get 2x squared equals, when we multiply all that out, it comes to 72. So if we carry that on up here, there, um, what we're going to have is, um, let me see, 72 over 2, I'm just uh, getting rid of the, uh, the 2 up front, so that gives me 36, so um, x squared equals 36, um, and then so I just need to find the square root of, uh, so x is going to equal the you know, square root of 36, and so x equals 6. That was a really, uh, yeah, labor, laborsome way of doing this, and I should point out that the registry would never generally ask us to do it this way, so I'm going to erase um, all of this, and I want to show you kind of a, a cheater way of doing this, and just that kind of has a better understanding of what the inverse square law is and what we need to understand about it. So we know that if we step away from it, it, it would reduce the, uh, it would reduce the, um, the exposure rate. And so really just the question is asking is, how much has the exposure rate been reduced by? So we've got two eighths. We can simplify this down to a quarter. So, let me, sorry. Um, so one over a quarter, right? And uh, if you double the distance, you're gonna have quarter the exposure. So to double the distance equals quarter the exposure. So in this case, the distance was three feet. So the distance just needs to be six feet and I would have a quarter of the dose. So hopefully that's helpful. Please put your questions down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and definitely check out the book Time, Distance, and Shielding. There's a link down below. And uh, as always, uh, live long and prosper. Bye.